Hello, my name is Taylor Tattersall. This is my fiance, Josh. He is going to pretend to be a five-year-old that is producing the T sound for the K sound. So I will be or er, eliciting the K sound in three different ways. The first way is through shaping by using progressive approximation. Okay, Josh, I am going to have you say T. -t, -t. Okay, let's say it one more time, ready? T. Hey, so we keep saying our T sounds for our K sounds, but today we are going to try and get to that K sound, okay? Okay. Hey, so we're going to start with our T sound though. So let's say it one more time. Ready? T. T. Okay, good job. Now I want you to take the tip of your tongue. Ready? Stick out your tongue. Let's find that tip of our tongue. Yep, right there. Now I want you to take that tip of your tongue and put it on the bottom of your teeth behind your teeth. Right at that center. Good. Now I want you to try and say the T sound. Ready? T. T. Good. One more time. T. T. Okay. Now we are going to try and make that K sound. I want you to put the back of your tongue to the top of your mouth. That's what we call our soft palate. The top of our mouth there. Ready? We're going to say K. K. Let's say it one more time. Ready? K. Last time, ready? Good work, Josh. That was awesome. Okay, now we are going to elicit the K sound through phonetic placement. Okay, Josh, I am going to give you this mirror, okay? So, why do we use a mirror? Uh, to see ourselves. Yep, to see ourselves. So, I want you to use this mirror to see where your tongue is at, okay? Ready? Let's look at it and let's make our K sound. Ready? K. Okay, see, we have to have our back of our tongue up. So to do that, I'm going to be using a tongue depressor. Kind of looks like a stick, right? Or a popsicle stick. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to be putting this popsicle stick in your mouth and I'm going to be moving that tongue backwards, okay? okay. And when I, when I do it, we're going to make that K sound. Okay, ready? So let me put it in your mouth. We're going to go. Okay, let's do it one more time. Ready? Okay, good work. Okay, so the T and K sounds are pretty similar. So that's why we're kind of having trouble with it because they both build up pressure and release at the same time. But, to, so it's kind of like this, ready? Ready, one more time. Last time. Okay, great job. Now we are going to be eliciting the K sound through monokinesthetic. I am going to put my finger and my thumb on your throat right below your jaw, okay, Josh? So I am going to be lifting my finger and thumb up and down. Okay, so can you kind of feel the back of your tongue, the very, very back kind of lifting up and down? Mm -hmm. So that's what we kind of need when we make our K sound, okay? So let's try it. Ready? Yeah, so we have that quick release of our tongue. Okay, do you feel that? Yep. Okay, let's do it one more time. Ready? Okay, great job, Josh. That K sound sounds awesome. 